monster, 98 cents. That's like, looks like the kid from the movie. Real mobile. I, this was actual magazines back in the day. Those of you who are youngins. The House of the Head. I guess there's two comics per episode. Father, mother, Ethan, we have game. You have all these rooms to choose from. But you made Ethan's bedroom the den. Yep. So you can stay up all night and watch TV. Gotta get you to school. Goodbye, the Smith Smiths. Is that Judith? The Smith Smiths, huh? That's their name. Okay. Wait! I have to feed Dave. Honey, come on. You don't want to be late for school. Is, is that real? Is that house full of real things when she, like, closes it? I'm, like, 99% sure that's little Judith. I want that house to come to life. Maybe the house is actually like their house. I don't know. What happened? Who are you? What? What is that? Who are you? Is that a head? I didn't put you there. How did you get there? Evie! It's called the House of the Head. Weren't you two laying down? Are you guys worried about something? What? <laughs> what the? This is interesting. Is he terrified? Are you okay? <laughs> what the hell? Who moved you guys? And now the head fell. Oh. I wouldn't touch that. No. Yuck. Evie, let's get a move on. Nobody move again. Mm -hmm. This one I'm starting to like right off the bat. Later that night. Hi, Dad. Hey. Good night, Mom. Good night, darling. What are they doing now? Are they like fending off something? It looks like she's got something in her hand. Oh, there that's the banister. Who let you out? There's a lot more rooms too that we can't even see. Look in the, I was going to say, look in the other rooms. Okay. I was going to say, are we going to see the other side of the house? You don't belong here. Smith Smith. I think you're haunted. You think? Oh, she loves your dollhouse. She should. One of a kind. They still haven't come up with a better way for a child to figure out who they really are. And they don't typically like to tell you about it either. What is that, a cop? Really? That one. They're all sitting down for dinner and it looks like they're praying. Hey guys. She got a cop. He'll get to the bottom of this, Ethan. <laughs> She's gonna come back and the cop is gonna be friggin' dead. Like, ripped in half or something. Uh. <sighs> I thought I told you guys not to move. That's the chest all the comic He's books were in. Investigating what? Good night. Uh, I knew it. Is he missing his head? He is. He's decapitated. <laughs> That's so bizarre. Look at their faces. Uh, and now he's got the gun. Stay away from the Smith Smiths. I need something spiritual. We do have some Native American toys. 
Probably more spiritual than any priest or rabbi you'll ever meet. The guy that owns the store has to be in on this. He made the dollhouse and sells dolls. Perfect. Is she causing it? Is her, like... Do something. That was quick. Evie, come watch a movie with us. Just a minute. Good luck. I'm Coming. wondering if her getting involved in it is what's making the head do it. The people were eating dinner, they were eating dinner. The people were on the couch, they're all on the couch. It has some correlation, I think. Three of them, and it's a full bowl of popcorn. What's in the attic? Uh, oh, because the thing. looking for it. That's pretty funny. Because it was in the mirror before. Oh. That was cool. Uh-oh. Is the in... Oh. Tell me he's missing his head now. And his hand with his tomahawk. So the head takes heads. Look out! Evie? What if she takes it out of the house? Will it become like real? Evie? Did you have a bad dream? Yep. Oh my god, it's a. Oh my god, all of them. The two parents. Are, oh no. That was very fast. Ethan, Here's where me. are you? <laughs> Ethan! Uh-oh. I don't think that was a good idea. I would have not took the head out of the house. It might become a reality now. I wanted to know what happened. I didn't recommend doing so. She threw it that way, didn't she? Yeah, she threw it over there somewhere. Is it? It looks like a head right there. Was that a friggin' head right there? Like, it looks like a giant head right there. I, yeah, you can see it with the ear. No! Now it became real, and it's probably gonna reenact the whole thing. Ahead. Something's gonna happen. Jesus friggin' Christ. I knew something was gonna happen, but I didn't think it was gonna be a page flipping. You're absolutely sure. Maybe she's just growing up. Yeah. I like that they actually had the giant head under the bed. Oh. I'm looking and I'm like, This is one of a kind. My daughter says she's over it. Who's she selling? Thank you. Why would the little girl let them sell it? The little girl should burn it to the ground. How evil is that that the little girl's letting someone else deal with it? At least warn the lady. Well... If the lady saw that, I'm pretty sure she'd immediately get rid of the toy. <laughs> Tell me that's not Crypt Keeper. <laughs> so there we go, guys. That was episode one of Creep Show. I'm assuming they're all going to be the same format, so they break them down into two parts, like one comic book each part. Tales from the Crypt, I'm pretty sure, was like less than 30 minutes an episode. It was on HBO. I think it was a 30-minute segment, but I'm willing to bet... 
that they were like 26 minutes maybe per episode. So that would actually make sense because these are 45 minute episodes and there's no like banter. The Crypt Keeper would have like an intro and an exit, like sort of tell you about the tale, so to speak. This one, it just has the thing like creepily do something, but it hasn't spoken words yet, I don't think. They rush into the episode. Each part, like each comic book, gets about 20 or so minutes. So that's pretty cool. About the same as Tales from the Crypt. The first one had, I remembered his name later. It's Giancarlo Esposito. He was from Westworld, a bunch of other stuff too. I see him in everything. I cannot remember off the top of my head, but he's definitely in the last season of Westworld. Very briefly, Tobin Bell was in it. Jigsaw, you have familiar faces, nothing against child actors. I mean, he's probably like an older teenager, but to me, he was the weak link of the first part. His acting was just like not so great, I guess, but it was still a decent story. It was called Grey Matter, and it basically, from what I'm gathering, something was in the Harrow's beer, and it was turning people because they were saying like, there's another one that turned. So basically, whoever drinks Harrow's beer became this mutant thing and the lady at the end is pounding the thing trying to figure out how much time they have before the world ends because it said 3.8 billion people in the world now she was multiplying exponentially to see like how many days they had left to live cool i thought it like it looked pretty decent like the honestly the creepiest part was when the kid walked in and the dad had like the tentacle arm kind of like coming out and was like i look like this So he still was like somewhat knowing what he was doing because he had the knowledge to know that was his son and have his son get him beer. But at the end there, it looked like he just like totally lost it. And then it ripped through the ceiling and grabbed Giancarlo Esposito. Odd, but it was also it took a while to get there. I get it. They're trying to like build up the moment. So like at the end, you're like, what the frig is going on? As they're making their way to the house, the kid tells you more and more and more. So by the time they get there, you realize there's going to be some shit going down. Pretty cool. Looked all right. Not the greatest thing ever, but it was decent. I honestly really did like the second part. It was called the house of the head. And there's a little head in there murdering the people in the dollhouse. They don't really explain it though. I guess these don't get much explanation because they're 20 minutes long, but I wish they sort of gave an explanation. They made it as if the guy who sold it to them had no clue. Like he's like acting like the girl's crazy. She wants a priest. Like he did kind of ask like, why do you want a priest? I thought he was in on it and was like thinking like, aha, she's slick and like she knows. And he was not giving her a priest because he wanted it to continue or something. But they basically just didn't really show him again. The only part I didn't like was, why don't you tell your parents? Even if you don't tell your parents, wouldn't you feel guilty that you just gave it to some nice lady thinking like, oh my God, it's my lucky day. I just got this beautiful dollhouse. And you give her a dollhouse with a haunted head that is murdering dolls. That was also cool when she threw it out and then they showed under the bed and immediately I'm like, there's a giant head. You could see the ear and the like scraggly hair, but I was like, maybe they're just trying to make you think it is, but no, it was a giant head, but I wish it kind of did something. It just kind of laid there. I wish it had some sort of effect on the real world. So we knew there truly was danger. Like granted it grew large and it was killing everyone in the dollhouse. So Needless to say, it probably was going to do the same thing to her parents and her real life. But I wish something sort of happened, like the dad screamed and like got hurt. He doesn't have to die or anything, but like I wish it had some sort of effect when it was out in the real world. She threw it back in. It obviously got smaller. They give it to a lady. The parents don't know. They're not at fault. And I'm pretty sure, 99% sure that that was little Judith from Walking Dead. Gotta be because Greg Nicotero was involved. He directed the episode. So I'm willing to bet he took people over from Walking Dead. We might see more Walking Dead people. I reacted to all of last season of Walking Dead. If you guys are interested, it's on the channel. I'm curious to see like where these go. I thought episode one was pretty good. There's only seven episodes, so... We'll see how good they get. I'm going to watch them all. I'm always a fan of Creepshow. I dig the Tales from the Crypt type like format. So let's see what they got next, guys. Comments down below. Like and subscribe. I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.